With the healthcare industry dealing with a nursing shortage across the state and beyond, some local hospitals are looking for new answers. Yeah, so a new partnership between Duke Health and Durham Tech aims to add to the workforce. CBS 17's Ben Boken is digging deeper into the agreement that's expected to boost the talent pipeline. Durham Tech nursing student Teresa Aduse finishes her degree in about a year. Then she'll look to enter the healthcare workforce. I decided to go into nursing because I just want to brighten somebody's day. And finding a job won't be a long process. As soon as we are done with school and we pass our endless exams, we can just get hired right away. Duke and Durham Tech announced a partnership Wednesday to address a nursing shortage. Part of the collaboration will place Duke health instructors in the community college's classrooms. The goal is to develop a talent pipeline that will have an opportunity to work at Duke Health. This foundational agreement has the potential to be transformative. In fact, it will be transformative because it addresses the nursing and certified nurse aid labor shortage and crisis. There are nearly 900 nurse vacancies at Duke, according to the health system. UNC research finds North Carolina could face a shortage of over 12,000 registered nurses by 2033. This announcement today is going to allow us to do something critical to this community, and that's have the highest quality care in our health care. Sector. Juan Besa already works as a surgical technologist at Duke Hospital. He says he had a slot reserved for him before graduating at Durham Tech. We have different kind of instruments in there, tools for uh, orthopedics, uh, surgery. So like, like a, oh, looks like it fits for me. And then I enjoy it. Soon, Aduse plans to join him. Getting closer to this dream feels so great. And I know that after this partnership, I know I have a job secured at Duke hospital. Duke Health anticipates nearly 400 students to participate in the program each year. In Durham, Ben Boken, CBS 17 News.